it's YouTube. There you are. All right. So, I've got some books to show. I've got plenty of books to show, but I'm just going to show just a few. But the main point for this video is, why not Art, Tony? He painted something for me. And I know what, I haven't seen it. I'm going to open it with you guys. But I know it's Planet of the Apes. At least it's supposed, I, I think that's what it is. But so we'll open this and we will check out it. Tony's awesome. Amazing artist. Oh, I picked up Migos finally done the, the Flash. So I had to pick one up to open. Yeah. I got some fucking Migos to show. Oh, yeah, we'll just start with some comics real quick. Um, just kind of assortment that I grabbed. Conan 26, The Fall of the Towers. Ooh. Is this shit going to be backwards? Conan the Barbarian, number 27. Huh. Eh, Conan 29. That's a run I'd love to complete. I've got number one and the Red Sonny issues. Those are the hardest ones to probably get. I got the last issue. So this is something that I could feasibly actually finish. That's number 38. I don't know if I said the last one. 30. Yeah. Number 39. 40. I promise you this isn't all cone in 40. Yeah, I've actually been buying comics again lately. I haven't bought in a long time. I concentrate on Amigo. But here's number 41, Conan. The Garden of Death and Life. I always love Conan art. Okay. Oh, and then Marvel Teen Up. Number two. It's a nice Mylar. Look how beautiful that makes it look. Ooh. Marvel Team Up. Number 10. That's a cool cane cover. Marvel Team Up number 14. Spider-Man and the Savage Submariner. Yeah. Marvel Team Up number 52. Once again, some Mylar. A Marvel Team Up Annual number six. God, I remember buying this one. It was brand new. Ah, Detective Comics. Batman and Robin number 398. Last chapter of this book will end the legend of Batman. I just sold my Batman 181. The first Poison Ivy. That hurt a little bit. I don't know why I fucking sold it. Marvel Comics number three presents number three Wolverine. I'm back on the Wolverine kick, collecting all the Wolverine stuff. Number four. Number five. And there's a big book at the end. I promise you, there's a big one. And it's one I've had before, but it's one that I had traded away. A couple years ago. So I actually have it thanks to my buddy Jared. JD G Rod. Um, Wolverine. Marvel Defense number six. Number seven. I'd love to finish this one too. The Marvel Comics run. Marvel Comics Presents run. It's number eight. I remember buying all these when they were brand new, so it sucks that I at some point sold them. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Ooh, we have an Amber Alert. Not good. Okay. We have Marvel Comics Presents number 10. Huh. Number 11. That's right, I... Found these in a box just one after another, so I just grabbed this until they, yeah. And number 72, the first Weapon X, I think. 
I love that. That's a great cover. Okay, we'll get into some X-Men, because we know I'm still collecting X-Men. I'm like 21 issues away, I think, from having them all. Number 17. X-Men number 17. And none shall survive. Number 19. That's not the first Mimic, I don't think. I can't remember what first issue of Mimic is. Uh, number 20, I love this cover. It's kind of... Is this kind of off the first cover? Number 21? Let's see. Let's see, yeah, that's fucking cool. We've just got a couple more books left, and then we will open Tony's package. X-Men number 22. Gangway, here comes a startling stampede of yesteryear's most sensational supervillains. Divided we fall. The fucking porcupine guy... He was in the She-Hulk uh, TV show. That was I loved it. I thought that was great. Okay, number 24, X-Men. Play with the Locust. Oh, I love Mylar. Number 26, X-Men. Oh, and the next one's the big book. Like I said, okay, this is the 26. This next one is the one that I had that I sold or traded, put in a trade. And... You know who you are and what I got and what you got. But uh, I got this off my buddy Jared. So Iron Man number one. That's a really good copy, too. It says 6.0. I believe it. It looks better than that. Even well, it's got... You no, know, this is a badass copy. So. Okay, there's some comics. I st I've still got, like, a stack like this. But, okay, let's get into this real quick. What did I do with me knife? Come here, knife. Oh. Oh. Look at this. We have to cut down this, uh, the time it took to open that. He packed it really well. Oh, then that's the. Check that out. He said it was a collage. That is too cool. That is going to be. Oh, I love the conquest up there. Love this. He knows I'm an ape freak. That is freaking amazing. Yeah, he's an artist, man. He does sells every once in a while. I, I suggest buying some stuff from him because he's great. Okay, so this is the... I love it! <laughs> okay, years ago, Tony did a... Uh, picture's not in there. He did a portrait. He did two versions of people in the comic community. And... I was new to YouTube at the time, so I was like, man, it'd be nice if I got in that drawing. I never made it in the first two. Well, I was talking to Tony recently. And he's like, no, I was working on a third, and you were in it. So, I love this. There I am as Gene Simmons in Kiss Makeup. That's great. God, he's a great artist. <laughs> There's Shannon. There he is. Playing the apes totally. <laughs> Coast and Brom star there in the corner. Too cool. I know everybody in this picture and I'm just drawing a blank. But my God, that is just amazing. It's cool that he, he catches people's personalities and their and their who they are. So oh, I love this. I will go out and buy a frame for it today. Freaking awesome. 
too cool. Tony, thank you. Um, I've got, like I said, more comics to show. I've got a whole bunch more Planet of the Eight Migos that I've not showed. These are like the newer ones they've released and customs that I've made. So, with that, I will talk to you guys later. Yeah, this is really whiting me out. So, that's it. Love you guys.